The Ryzen 5 3600 and RX 5700 have recently been released by AMD and offer amazing bang for your buck. In this video, I'll cover a great $900 gaming PC featuring these parts that can easily game at 1440p max without an issue. This is the hardware hub and let's get right into it. So before we start, I would like to quickly mention I have links to everything in the description, so check that out if you're interested. But with that out of the way, let's get into the build itself. To start it off for the CPU, I went with the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 for $200. This is a 6 core 12 thread CPU that comes clocked at 3.6 GHz with a boost clock of 4.2 GHz. Now this is based on the Zen 2 architecture so you know you're getting the latest from AMD. This is definitely a strong CPU for gaming and actually beats equivalent i5s when the clock speed is the same. Now this might not be able to hit the same like 5GHz overclock that some of the i5s and i7s can hit, but you'll still definitely be able to hit at least 4.2 or 4.3GHz which will still give you a very good gaming experience. Now the CPU really shines in productivity workloads like video editing and things like running virtual machines. Having 12 threads at this price is pretty hard to beat. So for the price you're getting a very good bang for your buck CPU. Now for the motherboard, I went with the MSI B450M Bazooka V2 for $82. This is a micro ATX motherboard with 4 RAM slots, 4 SATA 6 gigabit per second ports, and an M.2 slot. A cool feature about the motherboard is that the BIOS can be updated with a USB stick, and that's nice because it's going to make it so you don't have to use an older CPU to update the BIOS on this motherboard, and that's going to be a very good advantage compared to other motherboards where you have to go through that long process. But besides that, this is also a B450 motherboard with some nice VRM heatsinks, so you can overclock with this with ease. So altogether, it comes at a nice price point and has all the features that you need for a nice mid to upper range PC. And for the memory, I went with the G-Skill Aegis 16GB set for $60. Ryzen and its Infinity Fabric really benefit from multi-channel and high frequency RAM. This is why it's nice to go with a kit like this, which is dual channel and comes clocked at 3000 MHz. 16GB is a sweet spot nowadays for gaming, and it's also going to allow you to multitask and do some moderate video editing. So for the price, you're getting a RAM set that's not going to really limit you in many aspects. Now for the stores, I decided to go with both an SSD and a hard drive. The SSD in this build is a 512GB ADATA SU800 for $58. The SSD is going to be there for your OS and all of your applications. The 512GB capacity can also hold a couple of your most played games as well and some important files that you don't want to lose. Now of course with the SSD you get faster loading times and it is more reliable compared to a hard drive so it's going to be nice to have this in a PC as it's going to make it a little more snappy when it comes to opening up programs. Now 512GB isn't really the highest amount of storage, so I decided to throw in a 2TB Seagate Barracuda for $60. Now this hard drive is going to serve as your mass storage. It's going to store all of your games, large media files, and it does it for a low price per gigabyte. The 2TB capacity will last a long time and is nice as it allows you to have more games and other files downloaded to your PC compared to if you went with a $100 1TB SSD. So with this hard drive, you're getting great price per gigabyte, and it's really hard to beat. Now for the graphics card, I went with the Sapphire RX 5700 for $350. This is the latest release from AMD and features the long-awaited Navi architecture. This performs very well and rivals the RTX 2060 and 2060 Super in performance. The 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM that this has is more than enough for 1440p gaming. The blower style fan isn't the fanciest out there, but it will get the job done and will allow for a modest overclock. So altogether, this is a great offer from AMD. Now for the case, I went with the Cougar MX330 for $40. This is one of my favorite mid-range cases as it looks very nice and comes with features like a PSU shroud and filtered fan mounts which you really don't see at this budget. This is pretty spacious for a mid-tower and can fit most GPUs and large CPU coolers, so it's not going to be a big problem if you ever want to upgrade a GPU to something that maybe even has a triple fan design. Cable management will also be pretty nice as it has a PSU shroud and a large amount of room behind the motherboard. So for the price, you're getting a pretty feature-filled mid-range case. Last but not least for the power supply, I went with the 500W Seasonic for $45. This is an 80 plus bronze rated unit that has two 8 pins. Having two 8 pins is nice as it doesn't limit you when it comes to upgrading your GPU. 
Seasonic is definitely a nice PC manufacturer, so you'll definitely be fine with this. Now after seeing that PC build, you're probably wondering, how will this PC perform? One of the latest games like Far Cry 5 and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you can easily play at 1440p Ultra. Now in some games, you might not be able to get 60fps at 1440p Ultra, but you can easily drop the settings to get close to that 60fps mark. But even then, this is an amazing amount of performance, especially considering the price. Now if you have questions about this PC build or PC building in general, please be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll talk about it down there. Also, I'd like to quickly mention again that I have links to everything in the description, so check that out if you're interested. But yeah guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you didn't like it, please dislike the video and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one.